Hey everybody, I am Kara. Welcome back to Knowledge Work Nexus. Today we're going to be installing or enabling, well, I guess installing and enabling the Templater plugin and looking at how we take the meeting notes template that we were working in the previous video. I'll put a card to that up here if you haven't checked that out. Um, and start to use Templater's language to do some pretty cool automation and fancy stuff with it. So let's dive into it. I'm here in what is actually a brand new vault um, on my screen that does just have um, that templates folder with our meeting notes template. This, this is the template that was optimized for the core templates plugin. Um, and then I have a meetings folder that doesn't have anything in it as we see. So we're gonna start by enabling the templater plugin. So let's go down here to settings and we're gonna go to community plugins. And notice that in order to start to use community plugins, I do have to leave restricted mode or safe mode, whatever you call it. Um, and so I'm gonna turn on community plugins and I'm gonna begin by browsing for Templater. Now, when I pull up here, I don't even have to really search for it because Templater is one of the top downloaded uh, community plugins, it's right here. But if you did need to search, you just type in TEMP um, and then it will start to come up. And you can see that there actually are a lot of other things that include like template in the name. So this is a really nice idea um, or a really nice way to like see, well, what else is out there that I might be able to do with it? I'll talk about that more in some of the later videos and in the article that accompanies this. If you want the link to that article, um, you can check out the description below and you'll find that so that you can follow along with loads and loads of screenshots as well. So I'm going to go ahead. I've got the Templater plugin selected here on this page. If you're, if you're really new to community plugins, you'll see a lot of information. You'll see links to some of the documentation that I reference in my article, as well as loads and loads of resources and other things that you can use. Even lists alternatives here, the temple and meta templates. Um, so both of these are really, uh, those are both interesting um, to check out if you want to. So we're gonna go ahead and hit install. And it takes just a moment to do that. And as soon as it's installed, then the screen changes and you have this enable button. And we do need to go ahead and also enable it while we're here. So we will do that. Um, you can come back here at any time um, by just going back to settings and going scrolling down on the screen to where you see the word templater. Um, we'll do that at least once, I'm sure, during this video. Um, but you can actually set options right from here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that um, and start by setting what our template folder location is. If, if you watched the core plugins video, um, you know that we had to set a location. We do the same thing here. So my uh, template folder location is going to be my templates folder. And remember that what that does is it means that any um, any any file that we put into that folder can be used as a template. Um, so that's really important to make sure that you set that properly. That's all I need to do for now. So I'm going to head and hit close. And I'm going to come back over here to my meeting notes template. And we're going to start to um, trade out some of the simplicity of the core plugin for some of the cool functionality of the templater plugin. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to replace title here. Um, and remember, I use Nicole Vanderhoven's uh, tip to put my title as a, a header inside of a page reference so that that way, if I ever rename the file, that top header also gets renamed. Um, and so I'm going to insert where it says title here. I'm going to use a command and the, the syntax for a command for templater is the less than sign and a uh, percentage. And then we close everything up with the same thing. So percentage and greater than sign. And then my command actually goes right in between those two. So I'm gonna start with TP for templater plugin dot. And what I need here is a file. So there are um, several different modules that you can use. Um, file is one of them and I want title. Go. So that is the command to call up the file name. And then I want to get uh, today's date. And again, I'm going to put this into a uh, link. And so, uh, and I don't need, I'm sorry, let me go back here and edit this. I'm like, this isn't right. I don't need that inside of curly braces. I don't know why I left that in there. When I started to do it down here, I'm like, that's not right. Um, so now, again, I'm going to put in my uh, less than percent and my percent greater than. And then I'm going to go back over here 
and start to type in my command, which is tp dot date dot now, and then I need some parentheses uh, that don't have anything in it. The the default format for a date is the year 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 dash month month dash day day. That is the format that I want. If I wanted a different format in here, and I'll demonstrate this in a later video, um, you could actually put that different format in here. But if you just want the default format, you put it in here. So let's go ahead and just test this template out. This is basically the exact same functionality we have with Templater, just with the new template language. Um, so let's go ahead and in my meetings folder, let's create a new note and call it uh, 2022-0901 staff meeting. And I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna go Command P to open up the um, command palette, start typing in templates, and I wanna insert a template. Now again, we only have one template, so it's not gonna ask me which template I wanna install, or I wanna use, it's just gonna go ahead and put in that template. And I wanna make sure I use the template her one. I have not disabled templates in this. Uh, in So this is actually good for you to see. I've not disabled templates in this vault yet, so I need to actually do that. Um, so I need to make sure that I collect that I select the open template, open templater, um, and not templates. So we'll hit that, and then it is going to ask really ask me. Interesting. Um, and there's my meeting note. So now it's got the uh, file name in there and the date, all automatically created for me. Now. That's great, but we were doing that before and it was a whole lot easier. Is there something else I can do? And the uh, truth is, yes, there is. So let's create a copy of this meeting notes template. And there we go, I just made a copy and we're gonna call it the team meeting template. And I'm gonna leave the um, file name up here. I'm gonna leave the date here. Um, I'm gonna actually go in here and I'm gonna make my agenda just a little bit more specific. So, cause this is my team meeting template. So I know what I need to cover in here uh, that's a little bit different. So we're going to uh, review our project list. And I think in the article, I demonstrate that you could actually link out to another document there. I have like a fake link in there. Um, so this is another way to use, even if it's a document that you don't have uh, in Obsidian, you could still link to it from Obsidian. Okay, and then I'll add my level two headers for new business and for old business. And then down here underneath attendees, I'll make a quick little attendee list. Uh, that way I can just, you know, easily check off who's there and who's not. And then I will add a note to myself to distribute the notes from the meeting. And then just to make it prettier, I'll put a little horizontal bar there at the bottom. So there's my basic meeting notes template and what I, or my basic team meeting template. And what I actually wanna do here is I wanna create a new folder under meetings that is for my team meetings. Okay, and you might have other folders under meetings like maybe for one-on-ones or maybe for uh, president's council or, or whatever else that you have. Um, that's important to you that you want to create, you could create other meetings for this. And what I wanna do is with this team meeting template, make sure I've got my template selected, I'm actually gonna add a line to the bottom of that um, template that automatically moves my note when I create it to the proper folder. Um, and I'm gonna find this line over here in my notes so they don't have to try to type it out again. Actually, maybe I am gonna type, there it is. It's like, I know I have it in here somewhere. There we go. And I'll walk you through this command. So this await at the front, and um, a lot of this is from Stephen Millard um, at Thought Asylum. His site is fantastic. Um, so the await is just a command to sort of keep things from piling up in the processing. Um, we're gonna use the, that file module again to move this file when it's created to meetings slash, and I need to change this to team meetings here because that is 
what I ended up naming the folder, and then a slash, and then it's gonna add another slash and give it the, the file title. So that's the title that I give it, okay? So what this will do is when I create a new meeting or a new note from template, um, it will fire that template into the right folders. So let's see how that works. So I'm gonna do control N to create a new title or new file. And I'm gonna call this 220901 team meeting to differentiate it from the one we already had. Again, I'm gonna select that templaters, open template model. And this time I want my team meeting template. And it clearly created it, but if you notice over here on the side, I don't see it. Well, if I move that team meetings folder, there it is. There is the note that we are looking for now. And notice that that line of code is now gone. I don't see it because it, it executed and it went away.